Welcome back to Team Forever, back again with another video, and I'm back with another Big Brother All-Stars review video. I think I, this is episode 8 and 9 I'm reviewing today, and this is about to be a really quick review. I didn't take any notes. I just got done watching the last episode. I think it's episode 9 just now, but I'm about to do this review really, really quick because I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks, and I want to be able to watch more episodes of this, but I can't review it, so I'm going to watch it. So I watched these two really, really fast, so I'm going to review it, and then I'm only going to be able to watch three more episodes in the next 10 days that I'm gone. I was so mad watching this, let me just say, because let me tell y'all, I just got done watching episode 9, and Janelle won HOH. Janelle won HOH. Season 6 has been HOH since I've been watching this, and I do not understand how did Mike Boogie win this season. How? Janelle won HOH? Like, Watching the past couple of episodes, like, and I talked to James on Twitter, so he was telling me why he decided to try to get uh, uh, Chicken George out, but I mean, honestly, I like James, and I think he's a good player, but his excuses still didn't make sense to me, but, like, I'm trying to figure out, when did Dr. Will become the greatest player of all time? When did he get that title? Because I'm watching All-Stars and I'm seeing him on the block as a pawn and James and all them talking about, oh, he's a perfect pawn. How can he be the greatest? Because take it from me who never watched season two and I haven't watched, you know, all the past stuff, but I watched like the recent seasons. And I'll, all I see of Dr. Will is him come in for the jury roundtable where everybody say how good of a player he is. How he's the best of all time. I haven't seen him play. So when I'm watching him play on All-Stars with these people who already seen him play, and I'm seeing how they treat him like he's just a nothing player, I'm confused. I'm so confused as to what, how is he a pawn? And Season 6 won all these HOHs and it seemed like nobody is really evicted. Like, I'm watching Janelle won HOH and I'm just praying to God. But I know Will, she didn't get Will out, right? Because they were flirting, they had a flirt, man. I don't know, but I'm so confused. I really want to interview uh, Season. Like, let me interview, I think James got the most sense out of all of them. Well, okay, sir. No, nah, James still has the most sense. I, James, you are invited. If you're ever in Michigan, come out here and please interview about All-Stars. I know it was like a decade ago or more than a decade, almost two decades. It was a long time ago. But I am so frustrated watching this because there is no way that Mike Boogie should have won this season. It's, Mike Boogie should not have won this season. Even though I'm only eight episodes in, the fact that... Season 6 has been HOH all this time, and y'all have not really got out. The only, to me, the biggest threat that's out of the game is Jace. To me. That, like, so, I I will give James a pass. He got, he had a good HOH. By the way, let me just say this. Watching Season 7 All-Stars, it got me hyped. I like these challenges. Like, um, the HOH I just watched was, like, Elimination. So, they, they got to pick who go home, and I think Canada does that still. And I, or not go home, who's eliminated from the competition. I really like that. It really shows people cards, and you got to be strategic on who you get out and stuff like that. I like the veto competition that Chicken George won. I was really hoping that he did win, and it was how bad do you want it, but he got to be on slop for 60 days. If I was him, I would have wrote 30 days, because I don't think Kesar would have wrote 30. So that's what I was thinking, but he wrote 60. And really, he could have wrote 20 and still won. I don't know. Maybe he figured he won't be there for... 60 days anyway, so he might as well. But, like, there's no way that James can convince me that getting out Chicken George was, like, a good idea. There's no way. And I would rather have uh, him got out Diane because, at the end of the day, Diane was on the block on Kaser's HOH, so Diane was going after them anyway. So, that's what I feel like he should have done. But I'm not in the house, and I never made it on Big Brother. James played twice, so he knows something. And I don't, he's still in the house for now. And, I mean, shoot, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I, this this season is getting me frustrated because James, please tell me, when did Dr. Will get the title of the best player of all time? When did he get that title? Because these people on All Stars are acting like he is no big deal. And Danielle is also known as one of the the best Big Brother players ever too. And it seemed like they're not even getting her out. But like, I'm confused as to what season six is doing. It seemed like they just getting out. I mean, Jace, Jace was a good person to get out. And actually, I guess Allison was was good to get out, too. I guess Allison and Jace were good. Uh, maybe Nokomis was good. They get out okay players. Like, I think a waste of an HOH would be getting out Chicken George, which they tried to do. 
I think getting Diane out would even be a waste. And I think Erica, those would be waste of HOHs to get them out. But Dr. Will won. You cannot tell me that the only winner inside the house is a pawn. I'm confused. I am so confused watching this. I like James. He is one of my favorite players of all time. <laughs> but, and so is Janelle. But, uh, what is going on? Y'all keep winning HOH and it seems like, why are these people still in the house? Danielle, who I love, but she's one of the best, I haven't seen her season, but when I hear she's one of the best Big Brother players of all time, and she was robbed of winning. Well, I guess I can see why Danielle's still in the house, because I think she has a good relationship with James at this point. I, like I said, I'm not watching the feeds, but I think that's what's going on. But she's probably just playing a good game because she's one of the best, right? I really wish more of y'all was watching this season with me in this watch along, but my Big Brother All-Stars don't get a lot of views, but like, this is a good season. This is a good season. But I'm about to get off of here right now because I gotta go, <laughs> you know? So, uh, leave, leave comments inside the comment section down below. Uh, I was sad to see Jace leave. Let me say that. I like Jace. He was such a changed man. Um, I love the fact that Danielle's playing a phenomenal game because everybody loves her in the house. It seems like don't nobody dislike her. Maybe Marcellus, but it seems like their relationship is even getting better. Janelle won HOH, so I guess this is where she shows how she's a comp beast or whatever. Season 6 is great. It's no way. It's it's no way that Season 6 should... Somebody from Season 6 should have won this season. So the fact that they didn't... And they want all these HOHs back to back. It will be interesting to see how they got evicted. How did they not? And none of them made it to the final two. I cannot wait to see what went on because it, what they they have not. James should have put Boogie up. James should have put Boogie up. Boogie or Will should have left. Like. I'm just so confused. I'm so confused. They won so much. It's season six. Somebody from season six should have won Big Brother All Stars. They won ever since I've been watching. Every episode that I've watched, somebody from season six has made HOH. Every single episode I watched. So the fact that they nobody from season six won tells me that they made horrible decisions. And I'm only eight episodes in, but as much as I like James, as much as I like Janelle, and I like Kaser and Howie, but they made bad decisions. And I, I know I'm only eight episodes in, I gotta keep saying that, or nine episodes in, but the fact that they've won five HOHs in a row, or four in a row, is ridiculous. And they, they haven't got out the biggest threat. Danielle, Will, Boogie. Like, like what? What? You cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this up. At the end of the day, one of them would have had to leave. Like, at the end of the day, take out a big threat. Because if you keep keeping Will and Boogie and Danielle in, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think when they win HOH, they're just going to be like, well, they kept me in all this time. Let me just... And uh, Will's speech, was that fake? I think uh, Will's veto speech was fake. I heard... Uh, Somebody say that it was fake, but I don't know. But uh, let me get off the camera, y'all. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.